All right, guys, happy, happy Saturday. This is your shoes with Miss Jazzy, and this is Word on the Street with the Jazz Report. We're downtown Greenville right now, and we're just stopping folks and just asking them, you know, what they're doing, how they're coping with, in light of everything that's happening here with the corona coronavirus. So these young ladies are here from Greenwood, and so you're not letting what's happening stop you. So how are you actually coping with it? I'm not allowing it to control me. I'm controlling it. Um, I'm going about my daily activities and I'm protecting myself. Well, you know, and, and that's one thing that we can do. I know we're practicing this whole social distancing. I mean, you ladies are friends and I mean, you're not letting it stop you from coming out and enjoying a beautiful not. day. So what's been your whole take on everything that's happening? She's out here all the way from Greenwood. So again, for someone that's looking to connect with you and maybe interested to take advantage of your coronavirus special, Woo! how can they connect with you? Um, my phone number is 864-354-3178. Um, my business page is on Facebook, Elite Hair Studio, LLC. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, bye. Any business for you or what, how's it affecting your job at all? It's, it's going. Alright, so again, I know your daughter's not wanting to say much, but there's no school, so how's that good for you? Like it, yes or no? Not really. Not really. We got a bunch of guy kids, and I'm trying to get them done, and it's stressful, but I'm getting it done, so. Alright, e-learning in effect. So again, guys, you're truly Miss Jazzy. This is uh, just spotlighting on the street. We're out here talking to people with word on the street of what's happening right here downtown Greenville. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. All right, I see a very familiar face, and everybody's familiar with downtown. Come on over here, Brother Thank Roseman. You. How you doing? Well, Happy fine, Saturday fine. to you. So, again, this is Word on the Street with the Jazz Report, and, I mean, you're one that you're singing up and down Main Street. A lot of people know you as being a face and a voice here in Greenville. I mean, I know you've seen it probably firsthand, you know, the emptiness of the streets, maybe at nighttime, but how has things been for you with everything in light of all what's happening with this whole coronavirus deal? It's been even better. You know why? We are not, not we have faith, but we have God. You have faith. You're not going to get it. You're not going to catch it. Mm. And you see, and you know, people think it's all about the virus, but it's not all about the virus. Can I tell you, can I share it with you? Come on. You know what it's all about? What it's all about. And you think, now you just think about it. From growing up, 80s, and now, people think they got it all. People think they know it all. They, they think they know it all. But guess what? By the grace of God, he didn't make this happen. He didn't lie it out. But what is he doing in America? He letting people th he letting people think about this. Now, you done left me. You done got it all. and gave it to you. You still done forgot about it. I'm letting you think about it. Now, you can't make no money. So that's what it's all about. God making me full. He let me full state. They got, they got a chance to think about this. And guess what? Why this virus still going? God is bigger than the virus. Yes, he is. He's bigger than the virus. Yes, he is. He ain't changed. He ain't going to change. He just want people to acknowledge that, hey, he know it. He done conquered this mess. And if you go back to the Bible days, all this mess done been prophesied before he come went to on, the cross. Come on, now. Read the word. It's been told what's going to happen. And people fail to realize. So now, now guess what? Now the prophecy is, is coming is come alive. That's good. That's good. Come on, hi. So again, for for you being right here downtown Greenville, have you seen a, a decrease in the foot traffic, especially throughout the day and at night, or do you think at some point that maybe we'll go on a lockdown where people are going to be on curfew as to when they can be out? I don't think it should be a curfew, but I think, and you know what? What I think should be, hey, these bars have been closed, and guess what? Since the bars been closed, it's been a big difference. Cause you come out at night, these bars been closed at two o'clock. These folks come out here drunk and the bartenders don't care about them getting drunk because it's all about making money. It's a big difference. It's a big difference out here at night. And daytime, people still coming out. Still coming out. So ain't nothing wrong with 
having fun, just uh, love God, be safe, and enjoy life. Uh, hey, for a lot of folks, it ain't going to get no better, but for a lot of folks, it's going to get better. Woo, woo. All right. <laughs> man, listen, that's Brother Roseman right here downtown Greenville. This is Word on the Street. Yours truly, Miss Jazzy. I'm out here downtown Greenville. I'm just interacting with folks, trying to kind of find out what's happening with them. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? All right. So, again, we're just taking an opportunity to interview folks to kind of see how they're coping with what's happening because, again, it's a beautiful day today. I mean, you're talking 80 degrees right here downtown Greenville. And so, as we are moving, there's not a whole lot of traffic like right here in this area. But, people, as you can see, if you pan up and down the sidewalk, I mean, people are here. I mean, they're not like secluded. I mean, people are still out, they're walking, they're exercising. And they're enjoying it. Let's see if I can talk to these guys. Would you guys be interested to do a real quick interview just talking about it in light of everything that's happening? So again, we've got some young millennials here again. Yours truly, Miss Jazzy. This is Word on the Street, downtown Greenville with the Jazzy Report. So you guys are out. You're not in secluded in. I mean, what's <laughs> no, your thought as far as what's happening and, you know, how are you actually coping with it? Uh, I just think that still going out and everything is just what you should do. I wouldn't want to stay at home. I don't think there's any point. I'm just using the precautions and everything. Now, are you guys from Greenville or are you visiting? Uh, no, we're from Spartanburg. From we're Spartanburg. Right down the okay. So now they're talking about a lot of the young millennials. They're still doing spring break. I don't know if you guys are still in school. I mean, are you really practicing the whole social distancing? Or are you still kind of going out and partying and having a good time doing your own thing? Uh, not really doing that. I'm just staying around family and close friends. So how has this affected you, I guess, socially as far as hanging out? You know, are you still going to the normal place you would normally go to? Are you going to church? Has this affected your job? Uh, it's kind of affected the, our jobs and everything because it's a threat that they could close. But other than that, we're just out enjoying. I mean, the weather's nice and everything. There's no reason staying home. I don't practice the social distancing. So. I hear you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much again. Word on the street. People are still out here. They're enjoying the weather. You know, they're still taking the precautions that they need to stay safe, make sure they're sanitizing, washing their hands frequently. But again, as they said, I mean, it's a beautiful day out. So if you've not had a chance to get out and enjoy the weather, it's 80 degrees today. What a beautiful day that the Lord has made. And we're just out here rejoicing. People are out here. Look, they're over there eating ice cream. And so uh, they're out here cruising up and down the streets. People are walking their pets. So it's happening still. I don't know that it's affecting me many, many people as it relates to just not doing anything and staying at home, but I think this is a great day for those of you that are downtown Greenville, or if you're in the vicinity, come out. If you see me, come out and let's do an interview. Let's talk with you and find out how you personally are coping with what's happening with this whole coronavirus. Let's see. Oh, we got some fur babies here. Would you guys be interested to do a quick interview? Sure. All right, so listen, guys, this is Word on the Street. Yours truly, Miss Jazzy. Hey, fur babies. This is Luca. Hi. Hey, Luca. Hey, so now you guys are out here walking your dogs, of course, in light of everything that's been happening with this whole coronavirus. How are you guys coping with it? Just spending as much time outside as possibly can. And I mean, that's what they say. They say to be outside. So that's what we're doing. We're walking outside. Now, are you guys from Greenville or are you visiting? From Greenville. From Greenville? We're about a mile and a half away. So has this affected you much as far as business, your job? The whole social distancing, what has that been like for you? So for work, I work at DNW Fine Pack. We make food packaging, cutlery straws, so it's different things are happening. So some of the products are in higher demand. School trays, for example, not so much, right? Because the schools are closing down. So things are kind of turning around a little bit. Um, but you know, we're we have it, it, things in place at work to be safe. And if you need to work from home, you work from home. Fortunately, I'm in an office where there's very few people, so I go in some days and some days I don't. But you know, it's okay. Yeah. I'm grateful to have a job. I'm grateful to be helping people that need packaging, to be supporting the restaurants and their takeout, which is so critical. Do that. Go yes. to your restaurants, yes. take out, bring it home and eat it. Yeah. That's what we have to do. It's different times. We gotta help each other out. That's right. Well, thank you so much. You're we welcome. appreciate you again, guys. This is Word on the Street. Nico is happening downtown Greenville. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Nico's a pretty big dog there. So how old are? What are the age differences? Six and seven. Six and seven. So for all you fur baby owners, I know you guys are taking advantage of this beautiful day. So again, thank you for taking time just to share thank your you. thoughts. Thank again, you this so is much. Word on the Street. We're downtown Greenville, and people are still here. 
I mean, they're doing what they do. Hey, ladies! Hey. Ah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk. I know we're doing the whole social distancing thing, but yeah. we're t this is Word on the Street with the Jazz Report, mm -hmm. and we're just trying to find out how you guys are coping with this whole coronavirus <laughs> and what's happening. Has it changed up your 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 daily routine? Is this affecting your jobs? What's happening with you during, during this time? I mean, other than not being able to work because I'm in the restaurant That's industry, not... I've just been we've been trying to walk every day at least, and we joke about social distancing. Yeah. Everywhere we've gone to walk, there's been so many people just outside trying to just be active. <laughs> now, as far as you being in the restaurant industry, and I know you guys have taken a big hit, so I mean, are you at the point now that you may lose your job? Are you looking for other work? Or um, what are you doing to really supplement the income that you're getting through the restaurant industry? Well, the company I work for is really good, so they are giving us um, certain types of checks for the next two weeks. I just got an email about that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hopefully that'll go, but it's last too long, so I don't want to look for other work because I like my job. Money will help. And my boyfriend still has his job, which is great. All right, and what about you, young lady? How is it really affecting you? I mean, what, is anything you're doing just differently that's out of the norm because of this whole coronavirus or what's going down? No, other than being outside more. Dad, see that truck? All right. right. Well, thank you, ladies, you're so welcome. much. Again, this is Word on the Street. This hey. is a jazz report. Again, we appreciate you just taking time to stop on this yeah. beautiful day as it you're getting gorgeous. out and walking more. All right, well, enjoy your yeah, walk, ladies. You. Again, I'm telling you, it is absolutely amazing. Guys, are y'all okay over there? Would y'all be interested to do an interview? Just talk about your thoughts. <laughs> y'all good? They said they're good, but they're out here and they're not letting just the whole pandemic of what is happening really across the world stop them from being out here enjoying this beautiful day. So again, we're in downtown Greenville and this is Word on the Street with the Jazz Report. Look, Pink Mama's ice cream. They're out here trying to serve folks. They're waving from the truck. <laughs> So again, if you see them and you're down here and want to get some ice cream, definitely feel free to do that. But again, downtown Greenville, it is different. It is a little different. It's different when you can see that they have designated spots that are reserved just for takeout orders. So definitely keep in mind, I mean, if you're not going to be cooking today, definitely keep in mind of supporting some of our local small business owned restaurants that could provide food for you and your family. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Southeastern Drywall. Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are oh my, oh my god. Goodness. Look at these, look at these little baby Billy girls. So again, guys listen, this is Word on the Street with the Jazz Report and we're just interviewing and talking with people, kind of finding out how you guys are coping with everything that's going on really across we're, we're the nation. Georgia. We're 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 living Georgia. We're just chilling. We're not worried about it. Just relaxing. I'm not gonna let it ruin my life. Alright, so, so has it affect you at all as far as no. work or well, work it has. Yeah, because uh, I haven't been able. We broke down, and then our mechanic, his uh, mechanic, thinned out. So I, they couldn't fix my truck right away. So I couldn't go to work. Wow. So it's like a chain reaction. Yeah. So, so now you guys from Georgia, you decided to come up visit here in downtown Greenville. So I mean, the fact that you're here, yeah, this is like our second home. Second home. Yeah. All right. So tell us about your your wow, fur babies God. here. Yeah. This is um, Louis. This is good stuff. They're Nigerian dwarfs. Nigerian dwarfs. So we're uh, by next year we're opening a rescue oh. to save. Uh, they're kind of like our liaisons to save the young one of goats. Want to save the goat? So you heard it first. But now if somebody's watching, if there's something that they can do to support your cause of being able to save the goats, how can they get involved or well, how can they link up with you? What I'm doing is in the next couple months I'm opening. It's called Chavez rescue who's our first goat to die mm. because of somebody who sold us a sick goat. So How do you spell that, Chave? Uh, C-H-E-A hyphen V-E. -E. Uh, Actually it's Chev, it means goat in French. Okay. But so it's it's Chave. Yeah. But it's Chave's rescue. Okay. And that site will be yeah, open for donations probably. in the next couple months. Sold. All right. Well, you can say you guys heard it first right here on the Jazz Report. This is Word on the Street. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We appreciate you. So again, this is so fun, just being able to get out here and talk to people. Again, we're downtown Greenville, and we are just interviewing folks, finding out what's happening, what's going on, and how they're coping with what's happening really across the world. So I see that your handing out says, the grace that saves. So even with everything that's happening, I mean, it's not stopping you from standing out here, passing out tracks. So how are you coping with everything that's going on with this whole coronavirus, the epidemic, pandemic, or whatever's happening in the world right now? It's the good grace of God. And I 
freedom that I have in Christ. I feel like I can do this and get by with it. Now, there's somebody watching right now that don't know about the grace of God that you're passing out and um, being able to understand what that truly means for an unbeliever. What would be your word of encouragement if you were to talk to someone right there in that camera that's watching you right now? Well, if somebody's lost and needs somebody to rescue, and I was in sin up in my head, mm -hmm. up in my head, and uh, Jesus rescued me out of sin, put my feet up on a solid rock, and got me going on the right track. All right. And I'm still going. Still going. Well, we appreciate you being out here, doing your due diligence of being a kingdom citizen and sharing about the goodness of God that people not really be in panic, but, you know, just be prayerful, right, of everything that's happening. All right, well, thank you so much. Again, guys, this is Word on the Street. We're about to get out of here. Yours truly, Miss Jazzy, downtown Greenville, reporting live right here. This is the Jazzy Report. So, again, if you've not had a chance to get out and enjoy the weather today, you got to do it. This has been the Word on the Street with Miss Jazzy.